What's up boys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're starting off at the good to go tire shop. My brother's running the ship. Check it out boys. We've got all of the tires and wheels in this little Altima. So we are just gonna stick with the same wheels the car had, which are the 20 by eight and a half American racing wheels. They are staggered. We are running the 20 by 10s in the back. We got the brand new 305 Nitos. So let's go ahead and get these installed. And my brother here is about to hook us up. One down, three to go. Dang, that's a tight fit. 305, check out how wide that is. Hopefully that gives us the traction we need. One wheel down, two go. gotta get them weights on I mean even though that's gonna slow us down just a tad look at that that's what we want right there 
Perfect. All right, boys, so we're locked and loaded. Got all three wheels in, no problem. And I still can't get over how spacious this car is. It's an awesome new build we got. We or got I got a giveaway right here, 305. Just kidding, it's going <laughs> to the dump. Throw that sucker away. Man, it sucks seeing such a good tire just get destroyed. Just see ya. Hey, well, let us know. Maybe somebody wants them as a souvenir. You never know. Yeah, let me know in the comments if you want these. So let's go home and get these installed on the car. What's up, boys? So we've made it to the V-Tune paint booth.
All right, boys, our base coat laid down just fine. Everything is nice and dry. My biggest concern is painting the fender stick with the door. So if that doesn't match, we are gonna end up having to blend our door and our hood. So hopefully this matches. We're gonna go ahead and tack cloth it and we'll be ready for our clear coat. Stay tuned. Let's go.
So a big thanks to VTune for letting us use the paint booth. Our paint work turned out nice. We are going to come back in about two to three hours and pick up the parts. All right, boys, check it out. We've already got the whole bumper together and it looks absolutely beautiful. You already know what's going in this little corner right here. That's the main part to the bumper. So we are gonna get that snake out in the corner. We did put some LED lights instead of the stock ones. Those are the DRL, so they are gonna be daylight running lights and they're gonna look really good. So these are really gonna match our DRLs inside the headlights and it's gonna give it that aggressive look. But check it out, man. Everything fits up great. For a replica bumper, all of the trim pieces and canards fit up really well. As you can see, everything snapped in just where it should. But I'm very excited to get this put back together. There is one little thing holding us up. 
We did go ahead and install our fender and check it out. And as you can see, the paint doesn't match that well. The further back you get, or up close, the paint looks like it's very identical, but when you get further back, it kind of gives it a different reflection and it is showing to be a little bit lighter. So we are gonna have to re-blend this side as well as our hood. I can't be more happier for how well the paint laid down. Uh, I don't have that great painting experience. So these are just a handful of cars that I've painted. And I gotta say, this one was probably one of the best. There's hardly any buffing needed. There are a few pieces of trash. And that's gonna wait to install this thing on this beast. Yeah, I can't wait to see this front end come together, man. It's been, it's been a minute. It's been too long to have this car just sitting in this garage. So right, we're close. We're we are there. very close to getting this back on the road. All right, boys, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. We did get a few things done. We've got all of our wheels and tires put on and we also got our fender and bumper painted. I cannot wait to get this car back together. We are getting very close. We've got the fender put on but we do have to wait for our water pump for our heat exchanger the whole time i thought that was included with the vmp heat exchanger but it wasn't so i did get that on order i promise you guys we will be driving this car in the next episode stay tuned all the support is much appreciated let us know your thoughts down below and i'll catch you in the next one